everyone, I'm Clarissa Wallace, Program Specialist with A-State Childhood Services. And I wanted to talk with you for just a minute about helping children rem remember things. What do you use this for? It's just a highlighter. Me too, I use it to highlight things that I want to remember. In fact, I have so many highlighters and so many colored pens. Look at that. I keep them on my desk in a rotating cart because I have lots of things that I want to remember. I color code things, I underline things, I highlight them because I want to remember those things. Well, remember, young children, two, three, and four-year-old children, they can't read just yet. And so we are, metaphorically speaking, the highlighter. We help them highlight what we want them to remember. We use our words to focus on what we want so that they will remember that. The more we focus on those things, those are the things they will do. Those are the things they will remember. And also children, when we tell them something, they, put it, they try to put it into a picture in their minds and it takes them at least six times longer from the time we say it from the teacher's mouth to get it into their head into a picture. And remember, it may not look exactly the way you hope it would look. So we wanna use some pictures to help children highlight what we want them to remember. So I have a couple of examples for you to offer choices and to highlight what you want children to do for desirable behaviors in classrooms that will help keep everyone safe. So here's an example of lining up of this child. So you can show the picture to them and say, you may line up with your hands behind your back or you may line up with your hands on your head, but you may not push your friends when you line up. So you give them two choices and then you give them a little bit of contrast because have you ever seen a two-year-old or uh, put their finger on something and you say, do not touch that, do not touch that glass lamp and guess what they do? Boop, they touch it. They want some contrast. You said don't do it, they need a little bit of contrast and exactly what they focused on was doing what you said don't do. This is not quite the same. When you say you can do this or you can do this, but you may not do this, you're offering a little bit of contrast to them so they can see what you're saying. You have an accurate picture or they can put an accurate picture in their head. Here's another example. Uh, you can demonstrate contrast. You may drive your truck on the floor, but you may not drive them on the shelf. So it just gives them a safe way to do that. You're showing them what they can do, but what they may not do as well. Here's another example. You may slide down the slide on your bottom. You may slide down on your back, but you may not slide down on your belly. So when you give children options, you, you give them two options that you can live with as the adult, two options that you know are safe options, and then you give them one contrast that's not an option for them, and you put it in pictures so that they can see exactly what you mean by that. When you do that, you're highlighting for them what you want them to do more of. Because remember, they process it at least six times slower than we say it. So go ahead and put it in a picture for them. So today we talked about offering children choices and then offering a little bit of contrast so that we can focus on what we want more of. All right, I hope this is helpful to you. If you have any questions, my email address is cwallace, that's W-A-L-L-A-C-E, at astate.edu. Thank you.